Good morning. Um, I'm going to take you through some stretches this morning. Um, so I'm going to base this on if you've had a all over body workout. Maybe you've just been to the gym and you've just done, generally worked everything. Obviously, sometimes you have your leg day, you might have your upper body day, you might have your ab day, um, in which case you just need to stretch the appropriate part. But I'm going to take you through the exercises just based on the fact that you've worked the whole body. These are very important, always do at the end of a workout, um, and don't cut it short. Make sure you spend enough time at the end of your workout stretching, especially the older I get, I make sure that I spend a lot of time stretching everything at the end, it's very important. So first of all, I'm going to start off with welcoming you to Tommy, obviously, he likes to join me on the mat, as you can tell. So first of all, let's start with the legs. I'm going to go into a calf stretch, so, big step back. So again, what you want to do is make sure your front knee is over your ankle, you want to have everything forward facing. Toes, knees and hips forward facing, just engage a little bit through the abdominals. Try and get your back heel as close to the floor as you can, okay? And again, if you can, just go a little bit deeper into it. So hold this, I mean, hold these stretches. I'm not going to hold this for that long because I'm just, you know, demonstrating them. 30 seconds. At the end of a workout, try and hold this for 30 seconds. Okay, so that again, shake it out, shake it out, and then obviously you're going to do the other side, you don't need to show you both sides. So, quad stretch, that was for the calf, bottom of the leg, this is for the quads, this again. Now you might want to hold on to something, that's absolutely fine. Bring your knees together, just tuck under a little bit, tuck your pelvis under a little bit, and stand up nice and tall, lift up the chest, that stretches right the way from the hip flexor, right down into the front of this thigh here. And then just keep that supporting knee soft. You want to make, engage a little bit just to help you balance. Again, hold that side for 30 seconds. Shake it out and switch to the other side. Okay, so hamstring. Take one leg forward. Again, try and keep your knees next to each other. You're just going to sort of tip forward from the hip and you're going to drive your bum back. That stretches the hamstring. So that's at the back of the thigh. Okay. Again, don't put any pressure over on the knee. I'll just put my hands on this leg. Again, just can go a little bit further with your bum. You can drive your bum back a little bit further and get a little bit deeper into the stretch. Again, you've got 30 seconds there. And that's really it's good. Okay, so they're the main legs, okay? So you've got the calf, the quad, and the hamstring. Glute stretch. Hold on to the then you can do this on the floor as well. There's lots of different ways to do it. stretches, but I'm just showing you one variation. So, ankle, and you're going to just bend. Now again, you may not need to go very low. So basically what you're doing here, bending this knee, holding on to something for balance, driving your bum back, sitting down, and that is now stretching right there, okay? So again, you're going to hold that for about 30 seconds, and again, if you can, just bend a little bit deeper into it. Let's move on. Abdominals. We're moving up. Abdominal stretch. I just find a really good one. It's just to do a full body standing stretch. You can do this lying down. Standing stretch. Feet underneath your hips. Stretch out to the sky. That just feels good. Okay. And again, if you've done your abdominals, you might want to just add a little back extension in. Just to really pull those abdominals apart. And then what you also might want to do, if you've been working the sides of your waist also, Keep your arms above your head and just lean over to one side. And again, to draw your tummy in gently, stretch out the sides of the waist, and then back to centre, and then stretch over to the other side. Again, just hold that for a few seconds. Again, you can do that with just doing this as well, side bend, just reaching down the side of the leg, okay? So we're going to move on now to the arms. So I'm doing those triceps, arm up, bend at the elbow. That elbow is directly over your shoulder, okay? Press very gently and try and keep your head lifted, try and keep your head high. Okay, you're going to hold that stretch for quite a while and then you're going to release it and do the other side. Okay, now, if you've been working your biceps, a good one I think is to take my hand straight out, my arm rather, fingertips. And pull back on that hand. Okay, pull back on the fingers. So we'll really pull then down the front of that arm there. Okay, 
another one, hands behind, chest stretch. You've got two options here, hands are either in the small of your back or you can clasp your fingers together and pull away from the body like this. I do either, I do both of those or either of those. Feet again can be shift, um, <laughs> hip distance or shoulder distance apart. And again, you're just pulling down and you're pulling away. That's the chest. Now the shoulders. Arm across. Lovely shoulder stretch. This everyone loves this one. Other arm comes up. Gently eases it over and hold it across there. Okay. So again, just swing everything out. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, uh, yeah. Again, you've got the back. You've got the spine, I guess, as well, which which I like. Another one I like to do is. Bend the knees, place the hands on the thighs, draw the belly in, and just arch the back up. So the knees are back to kind of do this a few times, and then before I hold it up there, it just feels really nice. And then you can do this on your hands and knees, you know, like a cat and cow. So I'm going to just hold it up there and press up. So again, that's just really stretching out through the back, which feels really nice. And there we go. So there are a few stretches for you. Let me know how you get on. Do them. Do them. <laughs>